Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I have a video that is requested by a bunch of different people over the past few months. Um, how do you add or, or remove headers and footers within Apple's Pages? If you don't know what Apple's Pages is, it's just like Microsoft Word, but for Apple. Uh, so uh, you can export to Microsoft Word files. But anyways, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to show you how to add uh, or remove header or footer. So the first thing you need to do is once you open up Pages, you're going to see this little gear icon in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that, you will see something here that shows the document settings with the margins and then you'll see something that says section and this is going to be where your header and footer stuff is uh, going to be. Uh, so that's that's going to be where all of that is there. Now this is the newest version of Pages. Yours may look different. It may say something like Inspector. Uh, click on Inspector and then go over here and look for Document uh, and then you'll be able to see where the header and footer goes. So the first thing you want to do is here go to Insert and then you can look down here where it says like a page number, page counter, whatever it may be. Uh, you can do that by clicking insert there. So I'm going to show you something though. If if we go up here and click on the top end of the page there, you'll see it says editing header for pages one and two, editing header. You can just click there and it shows you exactly where the header is going to go. Footer as well. Uh, but if we view this differently, like if we go to view and then we go to like page thumbnails or something like that, uh, you can also view the header and footer options there. So I'm going to go ahead and view it normally once again. So I'm going to go ahead and go to hide the page thumbnails and then go back up here to the header or footer. Now, one thing that you may run into is let's say you have a title of your essay here and then you want your page number here. You can click in that box and then go to insert page number down below. That will automatically insert the page number. See here on page two, it automatically sets it up as page two. That's very, very easily done by going to insert page number, page count, date and time. So I can even click on the middle section here, go to insert and then go to date and time and then it adds the date and time on all of my pages. Now, what if I need a different title on my first page than I do on my second, third, fourth, and so on. Uh, you can do that by going over here to the setup option where the gear icon is. Once again, go to section uh, and then go right here and you'll see a few different options. You'll see hide on first page. So we can uh, do it where it hides it on the first page there. Uh, or we can click that box there and that will say that it does not match previous sections. So if there's something down here you want to be different, just deselect the match previous sections and that's very easily. If if you want to change the way the numbers are formatted, you can go here and change it to like Roman numerals. You can change it to ABC, change it to lowercase, whatever suits your fancy. But that's basically how you're going to edit, remove, uh, add footers and headers within uh, Apple's pages. If you have any questions, put those in the comment box below. I'm always here to help. Let me know. Uh, I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great tech content just like this one here. If you're looking for tutorials, if you're looking for gaming stuff. If you're looking for anything fun, just subscribe to the Technology Guru channel today and uh, I will bring you that content very frequently and I will see you guys in the next one.